What's up, everybody? Welcome to The Revival. My name is JJ, and today we are going over my Xbox collection. So as you can see, uh, I don't have a lot of original Xbox games. Um, that's one, because I didn't have the console for very long. Um, and two, they're just, from what I could find, there wasn't a lot that I was really looking at, at getting into. Um, you know, I was, I was an RPG guy at the time. Main reason, like, and this, this video is kind of twofold. One, it's obviously to talk about the games that I do have, but also I, uh, was curious if anybody has any like recommendations as far as like good RPGs or even games that I don't have here. Um, let me know because I'd love to expand this collection, especially now with with the uh, backwards compatibility stuff on Xbox One. Um, I'd love to look into some of these older, older games that I've missed uh, because there I know that there's got to be other ones out there that I didn't know about uh, that I would love to give a shot to um, and try out. So. Uh, Please, by all means, leave me a comment or something like that. Just recommend something to me because there are there are other games that I do want to try. You know, if they look like they could be for me. Um, and you know, if you've watched my videos before, you know what I'm into um, RPGs, that kind of stuff, um, or just anything with a decent story uh, that's fun to play. So, um, without any further ado, we'll get into the uh, games here. I will say, like a lot of these are well, a lot of these. There's not a lot total, but I when I had my Xbox. I was living with three of my friends at the time. Um, we had a house. It was awesome. Uh, we, our basement had four TVs and four Xboxes, and we played Halo and Star Wars Battlefront, and like just played multiplayer games like all the time, and it was great. It was frustrating. I can't find my Halo Two, and I know I had it. Uh, I just have no idea where it went. So, but I know I had it at some point. So either way. Uh, but, so, um, first one up, Gauntlet. I picked this up because on Nintendo 64, I think it was Gauntlet Legends, correct me if I'm wrong, um, I played the hell out of that, and I totally, like, I would, like, you know, play it on the N64, and then I'd have my character saved on a memory card, go over to a friend's house, and we would just play the crap out of it there, you know, bring our characters with us and stuff like that. I loved it so much. I got it for this because I was hoping to get the same out of it. Unfortunately, I don't remember much about this. Um, I am sure that it's, it's you know, similar because it's Gauntlet. A lot of the games are similar. Uh, and I, I didn't, unfortunately, play this as much as I would have liked. Uh, so I uh, couldn't tell you too much about this game as it is. Um, but it's Gauntlet, so, you know, I wanted to give it a shot. Uh, the next one is a game that I freaking adore. When I went to, when I was in, in high school, um, my friend Mark, who was on the, uh, the podcast with me, me, him and his brother and his family, um, their family would go to Iowa every summer up to uh, Spirit Lake. And two summers I got to go with them. Um, and like... We're a bunch of nerds, so yes, we were at the lake. We did some lake stuff, but honestly, a lot of the time was spent indoors playing video games. And Mark brought his Xbox one year, and he had Crimson Skies. We played a lot of Crazy Taxi. That was one that we played probably the most of at that point, just because it was fun to drive around and explore and, and whatnot. But if it was my turn to play, this is what I wanted to play was Crimson Skies. I love aerial combat games um, where you can do dogfighting and stuff like that. That is... I've just always been fascinated by it. I absolutely adore that style of gameplay and could do it all day, every day. It's great. And Crimson Skies, that's exactly what it is. It was super fun to play. Um, I don't know that... Oh, I guess there is multiplayer. We didn't play much multiplayer, though. But I, I just did the single-player campaign and loved doing that. And 
just had so much fun with it. And so uh, I want to say this came with the Xbox when I bought it. Uh, I don't know for sure, but I want to say it did, because I don't remember buying this specifically. Um, doesn't mean I didn't, I just don't remember buying it. I want to say that it came with the system, though. But I, this game is so much fun. Um, it's an absolute blast. Uh, the next two are... I wanted a... <laughs> I want... This is, again, when I was living with my friends, um, and we had the house with the, uh, with the, the basement with the TVs and Xboxes and stuff... I really wanted to play a multiplayer hack and slash game. I was like, you know, even to this day, I still love Secret of Mana and still hail it as one of my favorite games of all time. It's so much fun and I love playing with other people. I was kind of hoping to get that out of X-Men Legends 1 and 2. Um, not that these were bad games, uh, I just couldn't get anybody to play them with me. <laughs> um, I did end up finishing, finishing them on my own um, and I enjoyed them, but unfortunately uh, nobody would play them with me. They just didn't care enough. Um, yeah. So, but I did enjoy them. I loved being able to, uh, use different characters and, you know, power up their abilities and, and whatnot. That was kind of neat. Um, but I kind of wish that, that, you know, I would have had a, a teammate or something to, to go through them with me. Uh, the next one is a phenomenal game that I have yet to finish, but I definitely want to. And that is Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2. I've never played the first one. Uh, just to put that out there. I have seen it played many times. Um, I just, for some reason, I never picked it up. I think when I when I saw it, I didn't even have an Xbox at the time. I don't think it was on PC at the time either. Uh, it may have been, I don't know. But I, I wasn't a huge PC gamer back then. Um, but as soon as I saw this on uh, Xbox, and I had my Xbox, I had to pick it up. And I remember playing it, and I remember absolutely loving playing it. Uh, but then, you know, Squirtle, I got sidetracked, went into something else. That unfortunately happened a lot with the Xbox for me. Um, it's just because, and I've mentioned this in other videos, I get so invested in something, and, like, you know, I put so much time into my PS2 at the time. that And heck, like I mentioned, Secret of Man, I was still playing Super Nintendo and, and that kind of stuff at the time, too. Um, Nintendo 64, GameCube, I didn't, you can tell by the size of my collection, I just did not put much time into my Xbox, uh, because mostly it was just used for those multiplayer games, like I said, uh, with my roommates at the time. Um, and I'll get to, you know, one of those big ones, uh, coming up, but I definitely want to get back into this because I remember having so much fun and finding the story absolutely fascinating. Um, and I, I, you know, this was, uh, it was... Obsidian, I think? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, and I, I just really had a really good time with it. Um, and I hopefully can get to it at some point. I think, though, before getting to that, I would prefer to play the first one. Uh, I don't know off the top of my head if they're connected. I want to say in some way they are. They're, you know, Star Wars, so they're in the same universe. But I really definitely want to play the first one first. Um, not only because I haven't played it, but also I love seeing that progression from... Uh, the first title to the next entry in the series. Uh, next to the game, I, I had to get because it was a adventure RPG kind of thing, um, and that was Fable. I almost didn't get it. I was on the fence, um, and because I was like X Men Legends, I was like, I want to have somebody to play it with me. And I know, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, well, you, you don't have anybody to play it with you because it's a single player game. And you're right, but uh, somebody, Phil. Uh, a friend of mine, he was my, my roommate's brother, uh, my old roommate's brother, had told me, because I, I, we, him and I were out and we were looking at games to get and stuff, and I was like, I really want to get this, but does it have multiplayer? Does it have co-op? And he's like, uh, yeah, it's got online. And I was like, really? And he goes, yeah, yeah, you can like do duels and stuff and you can play with the other people. And I was like, oh. I had no idea. I hadn't heard anything about that. I hadn't heard anything about it because it doesn't exist, Phil. It doesn't exist. It's not a thing. Uh, so I picked it up, and lo and behold, when I got home, knew there was no online anything. I don't know why he told me that. I have no idea. Because I, I, he's played the game before. He played and beaten it several times before that. He just said it. I don't know if he was just trying to push me to buy the game or what. I still give him crap about that to this day, by the way. Uh, but... In all honesty, I'm so glad I did pick it up because I enjoy, ended up enjoying the hell out of it. I actually played through it twice. One is good and one is evil. Um, and I'll, I'll tell you what, I felt super guilty when I played the evil side. I really just wanted to see how it turned out. But I did, man. I felt so bad. 
because I did some pretty horrible things in that game, and I just, every time I play one of these games of choice, I try to be as good as possible, and I did not I did not like how I felt after that, uh, but I still had fun with the game. It was really good. So, Fable. Uh, it's the only one in the series that I've played. I think I own three, but I haven't played it yet. And the last one that I have is Star Wars Battlefront 2. We played so much of this game. Um, we would do the Galactic Conquest thing um, and just play as a team all the time. And it, it's so insane to me that the newer Battlefront games don't have the depth that, quite frankly, this game had. This game had that one, um, and I still honestly go back and I play with bots on my PC because I have it on Steam. There's a, a map on there where it's a space battle. You can you start out in your uh, in your ship, and you can hop into one of your smaller ships. Like you're you're in one of the capital ships. You can hop into a smaller ship, fly out into space, and you can do dogfighting out there, or you can fly over and land on the other side's uh, capital ship, star destroyer, whatever. Get out of your ship and then run around in there and try to do objectives inside their, you know, in their base, and they can do the same on your side. So you have so many ways to do combat on that one map, and like it's like, why don't the new ones have something like that? Because it'd be so cool to implement that. That was just such a fun, fun thing, um, and just the gameplay was just so great, and it's just so unfortunate that. I mean, what what happened? What happened? What happened? Battlefront. What happened to 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 my Star Wars. Uh, but yeah, we had we had a lot of good memories of this. Uh, a lot of fun. And uh, hopefully one day... Um, it's Star Wars. We're going to see more Star Wars games in the future. I just hope one day we see more stuff like this. Um, so fingers crossed. Guys, that's my Xbox collection. I know it's not, not much, but like I said in the beginning, uh, that was another reason I made this video. I need suggestions. What games am I missing? What are some must-haves for the original Xbox? Um, I like if I can't find them physical, I would totally be down for you know looking up the backwards compatibility stuff uh, on Xbox One, just because I you know I like to play this stuff. Um, it's the main reason I, I, I collect is because I do like you know I collect what I want to play. Uh, I'm really really just looking for suggestions as to how I can expand my collection of games that I want to play. Like like I said. Watch my other videos. You know what I like. You know what I'm into. RPGs, all that fun stuff. Uh, give me some suggestions. Give me some suggestions. I can talk. This is my fourth video today. I'm losing my voice. Uh, but thank you for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And let me know what else I should get on Xbox. And as always, keep on gaming.